right guys and welcome back to my channel today I have a um, collection video for you no no I'm not going over all this I'm not gonna show you all my steel books and stuff but maybe someday but right now I am going to be doing uh, since it is spooky season or Halloween season whatever the hell you want to call it um, one of the or my favorite uh, recent Scream Queens, I guess. Um, she's been in a lot of horror movies. Uh, Scout Taylor Compton. So I'm going to be going over all the movies, my physical media, all my movies of hers that I own in this video. So, um, yeah, let's just start with this one. And if I couldn't find the Blu-ray, but I know I own it, I will pop a picture of the movie somewhere on this screen. So let me start with this one here. It's called The Long Night. Uh, she is the main character. It's about her and her boyfriend or husband. Uh, what may I say? Boyfriend. Um, they go to this, like, uh, farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere, I guess, type of thing. She's trying to find out who her real parents are. She goes there, and then they run into this cult type of thing here. So, won't say any more than that. I thought this was decent, um don't know if I need to keep this or not but I will say let me say this in any of these collection videos that I will be posting if I haven't seen the movie and I don't like it once I do watch it I'm getting rid of it I'm not gonna keep it I'm not gonna let it collect dust on my shelf I'd rather get rid of it sell it to Bull Moose or something and let someone else buy it so yeah this one I'm debating on it wasn't a bad movie but I just don't know if I will ever really pop this one in again um it is rewatchable, it's just I don't know when I'll ever pop it in again, so we'll see with this one. That is The Long Night. Not a bad movie, like I said. Um, thought it was decent. If you are a fan of Scout, check this out. Next up, I'm going to go with this one here, 247 Degrees Fahrenheit. She is, again, one of the main characters here. It's about her and her group of friends. They're at this uh, uh, retreat, like this cabin retreat area, something like that. Um, and they get, uh, through a series of events, um, I think one of their drunken friends accidentally locks them in to this sauna. Hence the name, 247 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's about them, how they have to, you know, survive and adapt to the rising heat levels, stuff like that. Um, decent movie, entertaining watch, uh, yeah, so... 247 degrees Fahrenheit, and a lot of these movies that she's in, people have probably never really heard of, so maybe I can uh, show you some movies you haven't heard of and that you might want to check out. So that's that one. Uh, next up is Feral. This one I did like. I thought it was pretty good. It was decent. Um, out of the group, this is the best one. I actually used this on Bob's Blu-ray's uh, horror tournament. I said it was alright there, but it is alright. It's a decent movie. Um... Like I said, out of the group, this is the best one that I would rewatch again. Uh, so, Scout is good in this one again. She is the lead character. Her and her friends are at this campsite. They run into this, um, uh, let's see. Well, their friend runs into something in the woods that infects them with this, like, virus or whatever that will turn them into these zombie-like feral creatures. So, it's a fun movie, fun watch. Check it out. Um, next up here, we have Ghost House. Uh, this one again, she's the lead actress. Here's the back on that. Let me show you the back on Feral. I forgot to show you that. There's the back on Feral and 247 degrees Fahrenheit. There is the back. So yeah, um, this one, she, Scout is the main character. Her and her husband are vacationing in Thailand and she plays the scout, plays a photographer. They find this uh, area. They find these two people at a club or something like that. They follow them to this area. She's taking photos of this weird, like, little, like, miniature house thing. And she disturbs it. And there happens to be this ghost demon attached to the house. So it's just them dealing with that and that ghost and stuff. So uh, decent watch. Pretty decent watch. Um, from what I remember, it's been a while. Um, I think it starts good from what I remember, and the midsection's really good, but it kind of runs out of steam at the end, so just still not a bad watch. Uh, check this out. I think it's streaming if you want to check it out, so there's that. There's Ghost House. Um, 
I do have a copy of The Runaways. I will pop that movie up there. It's with Dakota Fanning and Kristen Stewart, who plays Joan Jett. She is in that, Scout is in that movie. Um, yeah, that is the one I could not find, so I do own that. So I will hopefully pop a picture of that in somewhere there. Now, next up, the one she is most known for in the horror community, Rob Zombie's Halloween, the original re the, the remake of the original. This is the Steelbook uh, of just the original, the nice original Steelbook they have here. Collector's Edition, it's the extended cut. Wicked nice Steelbook, I love this Steelbook. Love the art on there. And on the inside, there's that. I also have the Rob Zombie's Halloween in this version, the one that just came out at Walmart that come with Halloween 1 and 2. And that brings me to Halloween 2. Um, yeah. Not a big fan of that movie. It's it, it's just, I don't know. It's better than Halloween Ends, though. I'll give it that. It's better than Halloween Ends, but barely. So there's that. This is a double disc here. Ooh. Hide the code. Halloween 1, disc there. Halloween 2, right there. Wonderful gem of a movie. So there's that. And um, actually, I do have a copy of another movie. She's barely, the scout is barely in. She's got a very small part. Um, it's called Obsessed with um, Allie Larder from the Resident Evil movies and, and I'm our, um, Varsity Blues, I think. And um, Beyonce. And scout plays a babysitter in that movie and I think it has Idris Elba too if I I could be mistaken but I'll pop a picture of that blu-ray up there so yeah that is um all my Scout Taylor Compton physical media for now um if I see anything else she's in that I like I'll pick it up and give it a watch um and like I said if I haven't seen any of these movies or I decide not to keep them they'll go into Bull Moose Pile so yeah now let me quickly address the uh Best Buy Not selling movies anymore. I know that's been talked to about a, about a bunch in this community. Obviously, people have made videos. Um, but let me just give you my thoughts. Yeah, it definitely sucks. I've been buying movies at Best Buy since 2001. But my first DVD there was Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Uh, just been buying and collecting since then. And then when I started YouTube, I met Dave outside of a Best Buy in Holyoke, I believe, when we went up with Susan. Um, yeah, so just a lot of good memories in a Best Buy, but I mean, what can you do? You're just gonna have to adapt, go to Walmart. Uh, can still do some hunting videos uh, at Walmart, Bull Moose, maybe FYE, places like that. Um, it, like I said, it sucks, but at least there are still places that we can get physical media. So, and people have been messaging me. I don't know if they're trolls or not, uh, but people have been messaging me uh, Oh, what are you gonna do without, uh, you know, no Best Buy? You're gonna not see the Steelbook crew anymore? No. We will still be hanging out. We are friends off camera and outside of YouTube. I know that might be, you know, hard for some of you to believe here, but we are friends outside of YouTube. We don't need Blu ray hunts to get together. Um, Dave and the other guys are some of my best friends, so we, we will be hanging out. Going to movies, you know, just chilling, hanging out, stuff like that that we usually do now. Going to different things, sporting events, stuff like that. So physical media is not going to affect that. So YouTube is where we met, but it does not define our friendship. Like some people, I guess YouTube kind of defines their friendships, but not the case here. So yeah, anyway, that is my thoughts on Best Buy and their physical media. And um yeah, like I said, that's my Scout Taylor Comp, my small Scout Taylor Compton collection. So I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>